She's got the easy written all over her. You're not going anywhere, Sid. Sid? Whatever. Okay. I heard she died down there. She looks pretty good for a dead girl. Hey, Horace, why don't you go work another corner? It's summer, I'll walk you to buy it. I can walk myself. Great, then you can walk me too. So, Summer, if you would care to join me for lunch today, I can arrange to have an empty chair available at my table. There's nothing but empty chairs at your table. <gasps> Coop's stuck on the Ferris wheel, and I was looking for someone to go on the tilt a while with me. I'll go on it with you. Okay. I may vomit. I like those odds. Hello, Summer. What does your schedule look like today? Full. Oh, really? Okay. I have to find the stud. You mean like you did, Summer? Mm -hmm. Just get me the stud finder. Oh, Summer. I think you are the stud finder. You see this hammer in my hand? Yeah, I'm gonna find that stud finder. What does it look like? And a level. What is a level? Don't you know what a level is? Yeah, it's something you advance to in a video game. That's funny, yeah. The tool doesn't know about tools. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what, my people, we don't really build. We're not what you would call handy. We hire people to do it. Why don't we just get a contractor? Hey, man. What's going on? Huh? Where you been? What? 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 What's, what's going on? Nothing. Not one thing, OK? Huh? I'm gonna go pee. Okay, so if anyone asks, that's where I am for a while. Right. He's getting weirder. Didn't think that was possible. I just don't feel like I fit here in Tarzana. I'm busy studying. Naked. Is that supposed to keep me away? Cohen? You're at my house. And you are dressed. I wonder who's more disappointed. Um. Can I come in? No. Thanks. So we're doing a fundraiser for the team. A kissing booth. I'm going to be the guy, and uh, we're looking for a girl who's comfortable being paid to make out with a bunch of guys. Naturally, I thought of you. Really? You thought of me? God. Totally. I mean, why not? Thanks, Summer. Sure. Like, I just talked to you like I wasn't even there. Does he not know we're going out? Look, it's not like he wants to kiss me. He just wants me to kiss a bunch of other dudes for money. Oh, OK. I'll see you tonight. My place, you can help me practice. Isn't it better when we're alone, just the two of us? Hey, why did you ignore me at school today? I didn't ignore you. Ugh, okay, maybe a little. I just, I want our relationship to be private, okay? I don't like other people knowing my business. Why not? Because it's none of their business? Look, there's like, pressure and scrutiny in the spotlight. What spotlight? When has being in the public eye ever helped a relationship, huh? Yeah, sure, we're this week's hottest couple, but then the world gets sick of it. The shopping sprees, the strip clubs, people turn against us, okay? How many juicy sweatsuits does she need? Oh, that goatee is so mid-90s, and pretty soon the movie bombs and the wedding is called off. But I'm not gonna let that happen to us, because Cohen, what we have is special. Summer? That's maybe just... Uh, Upstairs alone now. Upstairs alone? Um, I'm afraid I'd have to file a grievance with the union. I've had enough, Cohen. I left your house two hours ago. Yeah, well, it feels like four. And I've been thinking about what you said, and I find it totally insensitive. I'm being insensitive, really? Yeah. How? Well, why can't you accept that I'm not comfortable with public displays of affection? You're offering yourself for $10 a pop at a kissing booth. How much more publicly can affection be displayed? Look. I know there's a strike, but technically, you wouldn't be considered a scab. Summer, don't say scab. If you didn't have to do anything. Mm hmm Well, your strike-busting techniques are no good here. Sorry, the rank and file are holding strong. Solidarity. What is it with those two? The Pac-Man and the getting along and the happy times. They're playing video games. It's not a Mandy Moore movie. No, she's supposed to be crying and he's supposed to be brooding. That's how it works. Hello? Hi. Yeah, we're someone for tonight. Pitas? Yeah, okay. I'm gonna make the marks. Kidding. 
god, oh my god, I know. Oh my god. No, you're so funny. No, you are. I know you. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later. <laughs> Bye, Dad. Dad? Yeah. Is that how you talk to your dad? That's how I talk to my dad. Like, he's your friend? He is, he's my best friend. Why have I never met him? I was beginning to wonder if you even had parents. I thought you maybe like made in a lab or hatched in a pod or something. So we haven't done the whole family meeting great. Yeah, I know we haven't, which is kind of odd to me considering that you've met my dad, you've met my mom, you met Captain Oates, the list goes on and on. I've just never introduced a boyfriend to my dad before. It's kind of a big deal. Mm, well, you're forgetting one key factor here, Summer. Parents love me. Okay, I've got this non-threatening, non-sexual vibe, and they just eat that right up. We'll go uh, miniature golfing or uh, hot tub meet or something fun. Well, my stepmom's at Canyon Ranch. Ooh, dry it out? Yeah, no, she's on some stress management program. She has anxiety issues. So? We can go to lunch with my dad. Nice. You sure you want to skip the hot tub? Okay, lunch is good. We'll do lunch. But your dad's not going to need a menu because he's going to be eating out of the palm of my hand. <laughs> the palm of her hand. <laughs> Just hold on one second, it's summer. Hey. Colin, listen, I've been thinking. Yeah? Hey, I have to kiss you again. What? What? Colin, what is going on over there? Wow. You're an amazing kisser. Okay, I'll tell please. Hey, Summer. Um. Huh? He's kissing another girl. No. Yes, right in front of me on the phone. I can't believe this. I have been crying actual tears over that ass, and he's kissing randoms. OK, you know what? We're going to have a girls' night out, OK? Teresa's coming over. We can do whatever you want. Really? Because all I want to do right now is go to Las Vegas and kick Cohen's ass. She's going to kick my ass. Yeah. Hi, my name is Cohen, C-O-H-E-N. I think that's how I spell it. Summer? I, I tried to stop her. Get away from him, whore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. She's not a whore, okay? She goes to UNLV. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. Skank. Hello. Hey, wasn't worked on. Okay, I was in trap. Besides, this is your fault anyways. You're the one who broke up with me. Oh, so you hire yourself a call girl? What, your dad wouldn't approve? This has nothing to do with my dad. You're absolutely right, it doesn't. Okay, so maybe I overreacted a little. Yeah, maybe a little. I don't know. Well, maybe if you didn't try so hard with him. Well, I only did that because I knew that it was important to you. I swear nothing else happened with the skank room? I swear. One kiss. Maybe four. Well, I hope you enjoy it then, because if anything like this happens again, I'll kill you. Yeah, well, you won't have to. We don't get your decaf, right? Because if they're not, I'm going to be up for days. Thank you. Thanks. I'm freaking out. You're freaking out? You got Ryan and Teresa. What about my best friend? Princess Sparkle is freaking out? Marissa, dumbass. Oh. Uh, I always get those two confused. They Really shiny hair. How can you even joke about this? Because, <sighs> I don't know, I have to. I'm not emotionally equipped to actually process this information. I mean, it's not bad enough that she has to live with Lucifer and Julie Cooper. I often get those two confused as well. What's going to happen to Ryan and Marissa? I mean, they're like the perfect couple. Based on your parents' marriage, I sort of understand that perspective. I'm holding hot coffee, Colin. I don't know what's going to happen. I just wish there was something I could do to help him. I mean, we just got past all this drama and... This summer was supposed to be all time. Yeah, well, now it's all up in the air. We're done having sex, by the way. Excellent. Not enough pain and suffering around us already. Hey. Mm. You sent me out to find you. Found you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I figured you'd be stuffing your pockets with cocktail weenies. You're still gonna see him. Gina's not that far away. I just can't believe he's leaving. He's the first real friend I've ever had. He's the only real friend I've ever had. You know, you have me. Yeah, but that's not the same thing. You don't get it, before he got here, I was the biggest loser. This place was hell for me, okay? I can't help him, and I just, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like here without him. I'll make it through it. I promise. 
could you tell them that I'll be back in a few minutes, please? Sure. Yeah, for the record, the boat was named after you. <laughs> 